Josh Lathan writes, what about a Vincent Castle to play Remy Gambit for a solo film? Sure, he is 47, Jackman is 45, but he speaks French, has done many of his own fight scenes, is in great shape, has the look, and is a world-class actor. To me, it's a perfect fit. Thoughts? Yeah, well, let's just get this straight. He is a world-class actor. He's awesome, and he's all kinds of awesome. Watch a, lot of, watch a bunch of his foreign films. He's, he's really quite solid. Uh, and he is in great shape. He, he can do a lot of stuff but he is 47 years old. Like you mentioned, uh, Hugh Jackman is 45. Yeah, but Hugh Jackman's been playing the character for 14 years. <laughs> so you can let that go. Do you start, and we had the same issue about when, you know, the rumors about Denzel Washington yes, as Green Lantern. Green Lantern. Denzel's a world-class talent, but do you start a new franchise with a dude who's pushing 60? Yeah. Do you start a franchise with a dude who is 47 years old? Look, I said we said this before on, on the show when those you know, the speculations are coming up. Well, maybe we'll get uh, uh, Magic Mike as Gambit, even though the studio has not greenlit anything. I said it before, I'll say it again. I think Taylor Kitsch could be a great Gambit. The problems with Gambit in Wolverine, X-Men Origins Wolverine, were not Taylor Kitsch's problems. It was script, it was story, it was the dialogue, it was awful. I think Kitsch can do it just fine. If you're gonna go with Gambit, don't introduce another continuity problem in the X-Men universe, just keep Kitsch. So, uh, but that's why I don't think uh, Cassell would do very well. Dennis, what do you think? Yeah, he would be perfect 15 years ago. Yeah. <laughs> he has the look, and also he has that quality. I mean, anyone who's seen like Black Swan, he has that kind oh, of. Oh, absolutely. He's got the swagger yeah, and everything. Yeah, that confidence, that ladies man, but also got a little shadiness to him. Mm -hmm. You know, I, he would be perfect <laughs> if he was 15 years younger. Yeah. And let's not forget, he was married for like 20 years to, or 10 years to uh, Monica, Monica Bellucci, Bellucci, which makes him the winner at life. Yes. Okay, so anyway. Everything you said is right, especially <laughs> with that last that last. <laughs> uh, I, I have no, uh, no but, uh, being serious for a sec, I agree with you. Uh, I think that, I actually agree with everything you said. I think Taylor was not responsible for the way Gambit was portrayed. That's a script issue. Uh, thankfully, uh, Fox has moved past their issues with that first Wolverine and uh, but the thing I think we should also point out is that chances are Fox made Taylor sign a multi-picture deal to play the character, and they haven't enforced that contract. I'm not saying that they have that contract. I'm saying that it's probably there, so they could bring him back. If they chose. If they chose, I think that that would be fine. Um, Vincent, phenomenal actor, way too old. They have to cast someone that's no more than 35. I agree. You know? Because you want you want somebody who can keep be playing the character, theoretically, if all things go well, for another 10, 12 years like Jackman. And the yeah. other thing is, oh, sorry. People, no, is you want a franchise. You want yeah, to do want Gambit 1, 2, 3, and then also in all the X-Men movies. Yeah. Well, the other thing to think about is that Fox is clearly aiming at making their own Avengers movie with their characters. Yeah. Fantastic Four, X-Men, New Mutants, all the mutants. So you want to cast people that can be in multiple films, yeah. which yeah. is why 35 is the max. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to AMC Movie News on YouTube. It's free and a great way to stay updated with all the latest movie news and check out our daily show, AMC Movie Talk. Also, don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Twitter to stay in the loop for our special prizes, giveaways, and contests.